good things of a good band. Strong songs. Snapper could be the be the next big band that comes out of Dunedin. Snapper, I don't think, is um, indicative of a Dunedin sound. I think it's something new that's that's been created. That's come from a combination of Peter's music over seven years and a combination of the four of us together, each adding their own special touch. To the, to the music and coupling it up with distortion, which gives it another three-dimensional effect. The enemy was really the starting point. Like they just sort of proved that you know you you could just get a guitar and learn three chords and start playing if you had the sort of attitude. You know, they sort of they were the, they were the sort of pioneers of that, and then the clean was the next, and after that you know just lots of people started doing it. Now it's to the point where there's almost a guitar under everybody's bed. All four members of Snapper have all played in various Dunedin bands before. I get the feeling that Dunedin is quite an incestuous place. It has been in the past, but like there's been a sort of an influx in the last sort of year and a half of people from Auckland, like um, Dominic, he comes from Auckland, you know, sort of, he's a natural choice. And sort of after living in Dunedin all my life, you know, sort of run out of uh, people who were, wanted to go into a different direction. For those who remember, there was a guy about two years ago, a young guy ate himself to death in chocolate in front of his sister. He was a diabetic. No, no offence. True story is he actually committed suicide by eating $39, 39 bars of chocolate every day at a sound replied. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and a psychologist and doctor said, stop doing it, you'll kill yourself. And he kept on persisting until one day. <laughs> one day it happened. They woke up to find a giant Mars bar. The decomposer was standing next to the We were just amazingly obsessed by it then, as was everybody who was playing in 1978-79, you know, who just picked up a guitar and realised you didn't have to play nine years, you know, under some strict guitar tutor before you were allowed to play with someone else. I left the chores in a way because um, I wanted to do a bit, I guess, noisier things than Martin did. And Martin was um, at that time too structured for my tastes which is another way of saying that I couldn't really play guitar very well. Um, I was really technically, you know, uh, <laughs> underdeveloped. I sort of, um, I've got a slightly better now. It's a bit more of a usable tool than a log of wood that just frustrates me. And my guitar's got six strings on it now. <laughs> <laughs>